Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having a good day. As you can tell from behind me, I am in a different location. We are on vacation this week in Gulf Shores and I am beyond excited. This is, you know, the trip that we look forward to every year. And we love coming here because of the great full kitchen it does have. So we're able to very easily stay on budget and stay keto uh, when we're on vacation down here because we have, you know, the same ability to do uh, what we need to here as we do at home. So uh, we had a, a day and a half yesterday. It took us a lot longer to get here. There was a lot of traffic and accidents and reroutes and uh, it was just a crazy day but we did uh, we did get home we did get here yesterday um, we ate dinner along the way and we were just exhausted last night and so um, this morning of course you know when you're on vacation your body says it's time to get up at seven o'clock in the morning so my husband and I were awake at seven and we decided we'd go next door literally next door to the Waffle House and we had breakfast I'm gonna put a picture here of what we got um, I got a um, I got a, a cheesesteak omelet which is really good it's just that Philly cheesesteak um, that they chop up and then they add a slice of cheese and that's about it of course being a Waffle House it does come with a lot of carbs so what did we do well luckily on this trip we have three very hungry teenage girls and they all love carbs so what we did is we took our hash browns and we got um, hash browns and raisin toast and so what we did is we just gave that to them we took it back they enjoyed that they threw a couple eggs with it a little bit of bacon they're good to go so I know that it seems uh, counterproductive to to go there and not eat the waffles or whatever but eh, we do this all the time we enjoy it and the girls like having the waffle house food so um, like I said we do have three teenage girls with us they're hungry and they like carbs so um, we went out this morning after waffle house we went to Walmart and I'll just tell you Walmart on a Sunday morning at 9 o'clock in Gulf Shores is like it literally the lines reminded me of Black Friday it was crazy it was so crazy so um, we did buy our food for most of the week I didn't buy as much meat as I wanted to but that's okay we can always go back I'd rather have too little meat and go and get for one meal or two than have leftover meat and it's like how am I gonna get this home so a lot of the stuff that we got is always gonna be easy for us to take home and I wanted to kind of show you what we bought and what our thoughts are on it so far for the week. And um, so I will go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what we got. All right, so I'm going to start and show you what we brought from home. This is some of the good yummies that we brought from home. Saving money on a trip for us also includes bringing some stuff with us so that we know that we have what we need, but also that we don't have to purchase it somewhere else where it might be a little bit more expensive. So some of the stuff we brought was our percolator and our coffee. This is a matcha that the girls brought. We don't drink that, of course. And then uh, our sweet leaf uh, packets and the sweeteners um, flavors that my husband likes for his coffee and other things and uh, tea for the girls and cocoa butter and if you come over here you can see that we have what we bought today was some um, peanut butter and bread for the girls I got myself some unsweetened chocolate so that's really good I also brought some lemons and limes with me I brought my salt shakers with me and I even brought my seasonings. My favorite season seasonings were, uh, were easy to bring along. And in this one right here, that is my taco seasoning. I made up a good batch of that and just threw it in a bottle. I figured it would be nice to season meat with before we grill it. So that's what, we, uh, what we've got for that. In the oven right now, I do have some chicken wings. We're gonna have some chicken wings tonight. 
and um, so that was seasoned with the taco seasoning. If you look over here, we do have some typical teenager food, um, but we also have for my husband, you know, um, sweet heat barbecue pork rinds, and um, we also have Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce, which is going to be great for him for those wings tonight. And then we have some no sugar added Heinz and some uh, G Hughes barbecue sauce that he likes. So we've got all of that really good stuff. And then we also got today some uh, pecans. This is a huge bag, 32 ounces. It was like $17. But my daughter and my husband and myself and I'm, I'm sure the girls will all eat these pecans. So it was well worth the investment today. We also were able to get some more wisps at <laughs> some more wisps at Walmart. And so we've got those. And as you can see, we even got ourselves a little bit of a treat for the um, for the trip. Um, these the um, the Bacardi rum is probably not the best because it is uh, flavored. It is going to have carbs in it, so I don't recommend that. But um, the vodka, what I do is I put that over ice with a little bit of lime and lemon and it's got a really great flavor. You can mix it with um, soda water, um, flavored soda water. My husband will mix it with um, grapefruit, Zevia, I think it is. So yeah, he's got a different, he's got different ways of doing it. And so, yeah, so that's what we got there. And then of course we had to get some freezer stuff. So in the freezer, we've got some um, snow crab legs. We never, ever have ever bought these, so I'm kind of nervous about cooking them. But we figured because it's a trip, it's a vacation, we're gonna enjoy ourselves a little bit. We also got um, some mashed cauliflower, and this is with cheddar and bacon. And this has four grams of carbs per serving in it. So we know that that'll be a good, fun uh, side dish. And then we also got rice veggies. And I'll tell you what we're gonna do with that in a minute. We also have some frozen green beans and some frozen broccoli back there. So um, our daughters, every couple of years, we bring a friend with, and the friend this year, she loves vegetables. So I took full advantage of that and made sure and got a lot of vegetables. Um, of course, we've got to have the watermelon because my daughters love watermelon. So that watermelon is for them. But as you can see, we also got uh, chicken breasts. We got some uh, pork steaks. We got some bacon. There's eggs in there. We got some sausage and lettuce and spinach. And down here, you can see um, broccoli and um, cucumbers and we got water and sour cream and of course we got to get the cream cheese and the cheese and the butter and, and there's all my husband's Zevia drinks and we've got water and we also found this today at Walmart which we were excited about he likes the G Hughes barbecue sauce so we thought the ketchup would be a good thing to try as well so we'll be trying that out this week and of course we've got all this great water um, we did, we were looking for um, either coconut aminos or Bragg's liquid aminos, but we could not find that, so we had to get the regular soy sauce, which we're not really thrilled about. But, um, yeah, so that's what we've got so far. I'm going to turn this camera back around and talk to you a little bit more. All right, so that's what we've got so far for the week. And um, some of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to use the rice cauliflower and we're going to make uh, chicken fried rice. That's why we got the soy sauce. Again, soy sauce is not the best option, but unfortunately it's all we had. And it just sounded good to us that we wanted to make that this week. So we are going to go ahead and do that. We've got one more place to look, I think, that has some more organic-y stuff. So maybe they'll have the, the liquid aminos. We'll find out. Um, we're also going to be grilling the pork steaks. We'll make those with the taco seasoning. And we've got, like I said, the chicken wings are in the oven right now. We've got eggs and bacon for breakfast. We've got cheese. 
We can make salads. The pecans would be a great add to any salad. Um, we can take the turkey breasts, we're going to grill some of them and use them for, um, for salads and stuff like that. As far as the rest of the week goes, not really sure. Uh, like I said, I'd rather have too little meat than too much meat. So, um, so yeah, we'll probably have to go out and buy a little bit more. But I hope you guys liked this walk through what we're having on our trip. Um, again, like I said, the banana rum, probably not the best. He didn't know I brought his uh, flavors with, and we do have a Watkins banana flavor, so that's why he got that one, because he wanted rum, but with banana. So, um, yeah. Well, he'll probably drink it. I won't, because I can't do flavors because of my allergies. But um, it's just something to keep in mind that you don't want to have flavored drinks, uh, flavored alcohols if possible. Try to do it naturally or with the, um, like the flavorings that you can get that are natural because they won't add any carbs. So I hope you guys liked this video and uh, enjoy your week and hopefully I'll get another video out later this week with a recipe. I will talk to you later. Bye.